Hi, welcome back to the Spamless Gamer. We're playing Atari 2600 games in the order they came out in. And today we are playing three games. We're playing Room of Doom. We're playing a game called Skyhawk and a game called Shooting Gallery. Our first game today is Room of Doom, which came out in 1982. And the box art just has, uh, he looks like kind of a, a thief type guy, I guess. I don't know what that is, but he's got a bunch of bullets flying at him and other things. And he's up to no good, obviously. Room of Doom. Escape! Your mind throbs. Trapped in the Room of Doom, the fiendish gunmen are trying to annihilate you. Shots come from secret portholes that mysteriously open and close. Watch out! The gunmen have unleashed a hydra-headed monster. It relentlessly pursues you. But don't panic. Your marksmanship can stun it. But only for a moment. Should you remain in the Room of Doom too long, the monster becomes vulnerable to your bullets. Dodge the gunman's firepower, shoot them in return when the secret portals open, and then escape. But where? The next Room of Doom awaits. An even more diabolical chamber with rapid-fire gunmen and devious monsters trying to destroy you. Can you survive through the full gauntlet of rooms and escape unscathed? Nope. Only you can test your skills in this latest video game from Kamavid. Comma, 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 vid. Kind of looks like Diabolique. Okay. So let's play the game. I don't have any fun facts for this because, well, frankly, not a lot on the comma vid games. Okay. So I appear to be the pink thing. Oh. Okay, so I'm the pink guy with a cane, apparently. What just happened? Okay. So I just got shot? The heck is even? Oh, this is an ugly game. So that's supposed to be his gun, not a cane, I suppose. Okay. So... All right. So I gotta wait till the doors open and shoot the things inside them. This is uh, kind of goofy. All right, uh, there's a T-Rex after me that uh, keeps flickering, and you can't really see him much on the stream, but he's there. I just stunned him. Uh, so I just gotta get these last two idiots with their canes, the old people shooting at me with their weird stick guns. Come on. Oh, we get to do it all over again, only there's more of them. How exciting. How good for us. All right, let's rate this game. So, oh. All right, so let's rate this game. So graphics for Room of Doom are going to get kind of ugly. I'm going to give them a two. Sound is fine. I'm going to give it a three and a half. There is really no music uh, story. Um, it's kind of a good, neat little... Uh, Kind of a burglar trying to go through rooms is kind of neat. The cover art's good. I, I like that. Um, controls. They work. Funness. Funness is a two and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, a two. And overall, Room of Doom, if Cooper will calm down, is going to get a two. <laughs> Apparently the mailman's here. All right. So let's move on to the next game. Okay, our next game is a game called Seahawk, which came out in 1982. And Seahawk was made by Frogo Games. Oh, goody. Frogo Games. And let's see, the back of the box. You command the Seahawk fighter plane in its military battle. In this military battle, your mission is to destroy enemy helicopters and ships traveling through the battle zone. But watch out! Enemy ships will attack your Seahawk with ship-to-air missiles that can catch you off guard, and enemy helicopters will send a steady stream of machine gun fire your way. Winning depends on your steady hand and quick wits. If your Seahawk is hit, your pilot will parachute from it, but it will be up to him to save, be up to you to save him by guiding him to one of your ships. If he lands in the ocean or an enemy ship, he dies. For one player, three levels of difficulty. Frogo Games, Mountain View, California. All right, so let's see. I don't have any fun facts for this game. Because it's one of these um, these games by uh, Frogo Games. It doesn't seem to have a lot of information on it. But we did play Sea Hunt, which was not that great. So let's uh, let's play Skyhawk. And it appears... Yes, 
is definitely some kind of chopper command defender clone. I haven't played one of those in a little while, but there's a little period of time where like tons of them came out that were this kind of game. This right to left shooter where you can go backwards and forwards. But they never, other than Defender, they don't seem to get the drifting mechanic right. Like if I let go of the stick, he just kind of flies backwards. He turn, oh, there's the parachute. I gotta get on my ship. Land on the ship. Yay, land on the ship. This isn't horrible, as far as Defender goes, but there's much better Defender type games for the 2600. I guess you're just going for points. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much else to do here. It's not really that difficult or that great. I take back what I said about this not being a bad one. It's like the enemy ships, the way they move weirdly, like they hover, but. If this ever in, if it ever any other kind of enemies, then this is stupid helicopter and battleship down there. Like, there's a the whole top half of the screen here where nothing is happening, where the clouds are. Like, I can shoot straight. See, if I'm up here, I shoot straight. And then, when there's things below me, he shoots at this weird angle, but there's never anything right in front of me. Unless you go way down here. Doesn't seem to be much to that game. Uh, graphics, I mean, it had a little rainbow horizon and it had a little wave and uh, the clouds, so I'm gonna give it a five for graphics just because they did some neat stuff there. Uh, sound, they ripped it off a of Defender, so I'm just gonna give them a two. There is no music, story, I mean, there is really none. We'll give them a half. Controls, controls are fine. Funness, uh, there's much better ways if you want a Defender fix than this one. A two does it hold my attention. Uh, a two and overall Skyhawk is going to get a two and a half. And let's move on to the next game. Okay, our last game today is a game called Shooting Gallery that came out in 1982 uh, from a Magic. And it has the uh, typical Magic shiny box. And it's an ideal for ages nine and under, which does not include me. I am a little bit older than that. Back of the box, uh, we can't read it because of the shiny box but uh it's one player games with four variations that's pretty exciting and i have no information on this for fun facts so let's just play the game shall we 1982 a magic why am i shooting rabbits and snails and monkeys and rather cool so we played a game called carnival league of vision it's pretty much the same game Without the weird birds. Also, I think it's easy because I. Yeah, is there. Is that right? Oh, we get clown music again. Oh no, clown music! Yeah, I don't know. It seems like you just do this over and over again. Shooting gallery, okay. So graphics, um, I think the graphics are better than Carnival was. Um, I don't know what we gave that, but I'm gonna give this one, I give it a four. They're colorful, there's lots of colors on the screen, lots of, uh, you can tell what everything's supposed to be. I have a four and a half. Sound, sound is adequate. Three, music, I don't know, I don't like that clown, scary clown music. Um, but it has music, so we'll give it a two and a half. Story, yeah, me, zero. Controls, you move left and right and push a button to shoot straight up. It's hard to mess that up. We'll give it a two. Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna be fair. We'll give it a four. Funness, two. Does it hold my attention? Uh, a one. And overall, shooting gallery is going to get a three. 
Uh, that was Shooting Gallery for the Atari 2600. Please like, subscribe, check me out on Patreon for a dollar a month. You get extra videos, and we'll see you next game. Thank you.